Here is our first question about the interest rate and present value. So if you'd like to take this opportunity to work through the problem on your own, pause the video, wait till you get your solution, and then you can see us work through it. Okay, I hope you got the right answer. Let's work through this. It says the interest rate is 100%. What do I know? Let me just write down the information that I've been given in the problem. It says that the interest rate equals one, which is 100%. What is the present value, right, so present value of receiving D equals $1,600, and we're doing this two years from now, so we need one plus I, and two years means that I need to square this. Okay, so that's going to equal $1,600 divided by one plus the interest rate is one, one plus one is two, square that we get four. So 1,600 divided by four equals 400. Notice, this was a one-time payment at a certain spot in the future. So we knew that two years from now, we would get the $1,600 and we knew what the interest rate was. Okay, so that's when we just want to use this one term out of the present value formula. Once again, if you would like to work through this problem, pause your video, and when you're done, you can watch me work through it. The next question, if the interest rate were 2%, okay, so what do we know from there? Interest rate of 2% says I equals 0.02. How much would people be willing to pay for a share of a stock that was certain to yield a $10 per share, okay, so D equals 10, annual stream of net earnings continuously into the future? So this is one of those things where we just keep getting paid this year, right, PV equals, next year we get $10 divided by 1 plus 0 0.02 plus two years from now we get another ten dollars divided by 1.02 squared plus in the third year we get ten dollars divided by 1.02 cubed plus every year just keep going plus you know ten dollars each year 1.02 to the n right a thousand years from now that n equals one thousand well, we can use this trick. The present value equals D divided by I. So that's going to equal $10 divided by 0 0.02, and that is going to equal $500.